What's going on YouTube, you're watching Fixed by Shaq and in today's video I'm gonna quickly show you how to download and install Google Chrome into your MacBook device in here. And hey, regardless of your operating system or regardless of your software version here, this should work for you. In my case I'm running macOS Sequoia as you can see it right here, but if you've got a different one, do not worry, this will work for you as well. Hey, my name is Shaq and in this channel I help you fixing tech related issues and I also do share cool tech hacks. So if you're into tech content, consider subscribing here to the YouTube channel. So first things first, the very first thing I'm pretty sure you've tried is you've went straight to the App Store and you've tried searching for Google Chrome right here. And unfortunately, you weren't able to find it here, right? This is so normal. Unfortunately, Google Chrome isn't available in the App Store marketplace, unfortunately. So we need to download it from the internet as a third party software okay i don't know what happened if google didn't register themselves in here or if the app store simply didn't include google chrome here as a software right so what we're going to be doing is we need to open up safari right here which is the inbuilt browser that comes with the mac operating system right if you're unable to find safari down here in the taskbar simply launch the launch pad and then you'll be able to find safari up here if you're unable to find it simply tap here on search and search for Safari, right? And then tap once on it and the browser should launch up immediately. Once we're here on Safari, we're going to head straight to google.com, okay? Next up, we need to search for a Google Chrome download Mac, okay? Next up, you want to make sure you hit here this first link. If it doesn't show here as the first one, simply search for a link which says support.google.com dash chrome dash answer or anything that starts with support.google.com. Okay, next up, it doesn't matter a lot. So let's tap on this one, download and install Google Chrome, and then you'll be able to see three options in here. We've got computer, we've got Android, and then we've got an iPhone and an iPad, right? So in our case, we wanna download the computer version. So let's keep computer selected. Next up, let's tap here on Mac, okay? So it strictly tells us that in order to download Chrome on Mac, we need to be running Mac OS Big Sur or anything that comes above Big Sur, right? In my case, I've got Sequoia. If you've got uh, any software which is below Sequoia, as long as it's above Big Sur, it's gonna work for you. So next up, we need to tap here on this installation file and then the download should be able to start as soon as we tap here on download Chrome. So let me tap on download Chrome and the download has started right now. Let's just wait for a couple minutes until this gets completed. As you can see, it asks me for 10 more seconds. This depends on your internet speed. If it's faster than mine, this can take you all the way to five seconds, but if it's slower, it can take you much time as well. So here we go, the download is now complete. And the next thing we're gonna be doing is right clicking on this file and tap here on show in finder. So here we go, once we do that, we'll be able to see here the setup, which is usually in .dmg format. DMG is the setup format here for MacBook devices. For example, in Windows computers, it's normally .exe, but in our case, we've got a Mac computer, so it's .dmg. Simply double tap on the setup and the setup should launch in a few seconds. Here we go. Let me close my browser. Let me close my finder window here. And the next thing to install, we just need to drag and drop the Google Chrome into this applications folder in here. So simply hold it and then bring it down here, drag it all the way and release it here to copy it into our applications folder. This should take you a few seconds while it's actually moving the specific Google Chrome app into the applications folder. Okay, it's asking me for five seconds. Here we go, it's now complete. Next up, I'm gonna close Google Chrome. Let's head straight to the spotlight search by tapping here at the top right corner. And then let's search for applications folder, which is this one right here with an A, right? Double tap on it and you'll be able to see here within applications folder, which is the folder that contains all installed apps. We can now find Google Chrome in here. So this means that we already have Google Chrome installed in here, right? Now, next up, if we open up the launchpad in here, we head to the right, we'll be able 
able to see that Google Chrome has been installed already and it's right here. Now, if you want to have Google Chrome pinned here into your taskbar, all you need to do is simply reopen that applications folder by tapping on the spotlight search, searching for applications, and then drag and drop Google Chrome all the way to your taskbar and then release it here. Google Chrome will be pinned to your taskbar and this makes it easier for you to launch Google Chrome. I don't need to head to my applications folder anymore and I don't need to open up my launch pad anymore. All I need to do is simply move my mouse and tap here on Google Chrome in my taskbar and then Google Chrome should launch up in a few seconds. Here we go, it's now launching, simply tap on open. And here we go, we now have Google Chrome installed into our computer in here and we can also manage the settings here which are related to the notifications. Okay, we've got in here Google Chrome, notifications, notifications may include alerts, sounds and icon badges, tap on option, you can allow as well as don't allow it. In my case, I'm going to allow it in here to make sure that I get notified every time I get a new email, every time I have a new pop-up here that shows up into my Google Chrome browser okay next up you can now customize your Google Chrome app by simply logging in into your Gmail account in here if you don't have one make sure you create one by simply heading straight to gmail.com and make sure you link your Google account into your Google Chrome browser next up we've got in here the customized Chrome option in here that allows you to customize your Google Chrome browser in order to have a much comfortable experience okay you can select for example the colors combinations in here that you wish to have this is so nice from the browser itself you can have the light theme as well as the dark theme or you can go with device theme which means that it will match with your main computer's theme. In my case my MacBook runs a dark mode that's why it matches with my main computer's theme which is the dark mode. Now if you simply want to take things to the next level I'm going to show you how to customize your Google Chrome logo or icon in here. In my case I simply don't like the way we have this white background in here. I want it to be here in the dock looking like the messages app for example that simply has the logo of the app and doesn't have any background. For example if you go to mail we've got in here mail without any background. So I'm going to show you how to attach the 100% transparent logo into Google Chrome and the coolest part is that you can also customize with other cool logos as well. For example let me quickly go to Google we're going to be opening up google.com and then let's search for Google Chrome logo okay here we go we want to make sure we download the png logo so this one from clear png in my case will be the one okay let me tap here on visit if you wish to select a different one a customized such as this one for example you can also select it as long as it's png format okay so in my case i'll be going with this one let's go just to show it to you guys so once we're here we're going to be tapping on png to download it okay we've got free download in here I'm going to be downloading this icon and make sure that you're downloading it in PNG format that's the only way to make it work okay so I'm going to save it here on my desktop and then I'm going to minimize Google Chrome in here to be more specific let's quickly close Google Chrome and also unpin it here from the dock right let me quickly remove it from the dock and then we're going to be tapping here on top right corner we've got the spotlight search let's search for applications folder once again okay double tap on it and you'll be able to see here this window once again so what you want to do in here is simply right click on google chrome tap on get info next up here let's close the applications folder and over here all we need to do is simply drag and drop our customized icon into google chrome icon in here you're gonna release it and immediately your icon will change into this one right here the next thing i'm gonna be doing is simply opening up applications once again and as you can see we have the new icon in here it will just refresh in a few seconds what you can do now is simply drag and drop it here all the way to your dock so here we go we've successfully customized i've got in here the google chrome with a customized icon in here i hope this video really helped you and you gained some value out of it and if you find my content useful here on youtube consider subscribing like the video and leave a comment down below in case you have any doubt or any query thank you so much for making it till the end of the video and i'll see you in the next one have a great day